Hey guys, Mary Ann here with Shopping Crafty, and it's the end of June, so I just paid my rent for July, and I figured out all of my numbers. I had a pretty good month. Um, I got to go on a little shopping spree for my birthday. Um, I had mentioned this in another video, but I never ended up uploading it. I'll probably upload it this coming week just so I can. Um, it was my June budget setup. But since it was my birthday and I knew I would be getting money coming in for such things, um, I decided to give myself $200 to get essential clothing items that I've been slacking on. Um, and I ended up spreading that money a long way, which was awesome. Um, I needed sweaters. I had no sweaters anymore except for one that had a stain in it and one that the pocket was ripping. I have three pairs of pants. One has a giant hole in the knee, one is pink, and one is my work pants and is getting a hole in the crotch. Um, and so it was various things like that uh, that I really needed to replace. And I was able to and it didn't break my budget because I had allotted $200 and then um, I just took the money that I got for my birthday and put it towards that instead of the $200 I had set aside so it balanced out really well. Um, this month, sorry, I'm like in an awkward place. I'm on my couch. I just wanted to be cozy. <laughs> and there's my whole Batman pictures. Except for the Joker fell out of center, but I think the Joker would appreciate that he is off center. So I've left it, and also because I'm lazy. Um, <laughs> this was my second month paying towards my student loans, which was cool. I also paid off my car. Sorry, I'm weird. Um, I paid off my car this month, so now I own my car. So I bought myself a car for my birthday. It's very exciting. Um, and I'll post a video. I decided to treat myself to a car wash and stuff like that because I wanted to show some love for Lucy, my Prius. Uh, so anyway, it was a good month and I actually just calculated everything this morning and it really was down to the dollar correct for my budget this month, which is awesome. Like. I had 1500 something in my bank account and I was like, hmm, is that enough? Um, my rent is $13.95, so I paid that and there's $150 left in there, which is the exact right amount to have left in there because that is the check that I write to my grandma at the end of every month. Um, I pretty much pay her last every month just because I know if I have a really stressful month, I could message her and say hey is it okay if I take the month off of that which I've had to do once um, and I did that once I think just once maybe twice with my aunt when I was paying her back before my grandma um, because they're family and they know like they they want to support the thing I am trying to do acting getting out of debt all of it they want to support me in that and so if I am just really struggling one month they're more than happy to let me skip the payment um because they're gonna get their money in the end and they know that and i mean i paid off my aunt and i am working on paying off my grandma and my grandma it's stupid i like i shouldn't feel proud of myself for bringing it up but um i'm the one who brought up the six thousand dollars i owed my grandma instead of her having to bring it up with me and I mean, like, especially rereading Dave Ramsey and talking about, like, the awkward dynamics that can happen if a family member borrows money or a friend. Um, I'm really glad that I took the initiative to do that um, and didn't wait for her. Would you quit? What are you doing? Sorry, my cat is doing the clawing thing, but he's doing it even weirder than normal but he's not allowed to sorry okay so uh, I have paid off over ten thousand dollars since I started my debt-free journey which is both happy and sad because that was like two years ago that I started so it feels kind of like slow progress but still it's a landmark milestone <laughs> whatever it's called uh, last month I owed 
$29,650.54. There's a dog here. Hello! Um, and this month I owe $28,715.46. So that is a decrease in my debt total by $935.08. That's exciting because that means that I put over a thousand dollars towards debt this month. Um, I don't keep track of interest, but I probably should. I just go by like the grand total at the end of every month, um, and that is instead of like how much did I pay, I just how much did my debt lower is what that number is. Um, but twenty eight thousand, <sighs> that looks that looks pretty good. Like I said, it's over. I started at thirty nine thousand two hundred forty four two years ago so it's it's over ten thousand dollars less and that is awesome it is awesome um next month is actually the official two-year landmark milestone i are both acceptable i don't even know um so next month i'll do a whole two-year wrap-up which will be exciting um but it was a good month 28,600 something, something like that. It's it's still a lot, but I made progress and that is, I made the biggest payment I've made in a long time towards debt in one month. Yeah, like looking at this, um, I didn't keep track of this for a few months there, like after my move and stuff when I was redoing baby step one and stuff like that. Um, but like $347, $390, $385, $589, $552, $660, $670, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680, $680,